In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Distant Horizons for Minecraft Java version 1.21.10. So, let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I'm gonna have links in the description if you need them. But here, go to your search bar and search up Mod Rinf, like so. Now enter, here you'll find modrinf.com, click on modrinf, and this will bring you to the modrinf homepage. Now, simply go to the top of the website to discover content, then go down to mods. Now go to search mods and search up distant horizons. Now you'll see distant horizons here, simply click on the mod's name and this will bring you to this page. Now go to versions and choose game versions and 1.21.10. Here you'll find that we have some beta releases here, but we'll just go ahead and get the latest one here for 1.21.10 and we'll be using Fabric. So just click the green download button and now all you have to get yourself is, well, Fabric. So how do you get Fabric? Well, go to a new tab, go to your search bar and search up Fabric Minecraft. Now enter, here you'll find FabricMC.net, click on Fabric and here you're now on the Fabric homepage. Now go to the blue download button and then go to the blue download for Windows button. And now you have Fabric Installer and Distant Horizons. So now simply go ahead and close or minimize your web browser, I'll close mine, then go to your file explorer and access your downloads folder. Now find Fabric Installer and double click it and it will show up with a window. Make sure the Minecraft version is correct. If it is, click install. OK and close. Now go to your Minecraft launcher and from there we'll be able to go ahead and add everything. So yeah, let's just go ahead and make sure we have Fabric Loader here. And if you do, you have a mods folder which you can access by going to installations here. Then you can go to Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. And from there you can go to mods. So double click mods. Once you're here, go to downloads. Select distant horizons and copy them. And go to the top left arrow here to go back to the PS folder and click paste. Okay, once you did this, go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to like play here, then make sure you have Fabric Loader selected and click play again. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, so once Minecraft has opened up, you can open up a single player world or a server but the server needs to have the mod on its side as well, so it activates. So make sure the server you're playing on has the mod, or you can go to single player and you will have, I'm gonna create a new world in this case, as this just generates extra chunks. So you can play on the world you already have if you want to have more chunks, or if you want to just have a new world, you can do this actually. So here, what happens is that it is gonna load up the game and at some point, we're going to see that we have more and more chunks that shows up. Now, one thing you can do is actually add the like RAM amount to be higher than it's normally meant to be. As you can see, we already have extra chunks loading up here. If you really check, sometimes there's like extra chunks that shows up weirdly, like this. You see over there? You see this here? This is kind of what the mod does. It just makes them go really, really far. But this can take like a long long time to random and if you don't have like uh, a lot of RAM like allocated to Minecraft it will take even longer and at some point stop so if you want to add even more RAM this is how we do this so we just close everything here I'll just go ahead and just like leave the world and then we'll be able to go ahead and actually change our RAM amount by going back to the Minecraft launcher and changing up the RAM so this is just an extra thing if you want to do it is just in installations. You will go to your fabric loader here, go to the three dots, then edit, then more options. And basically what you want to do is go to the XMX here and change this to you know more than two gigabytes. So I can put like 10 for example. Yeah, you need to have like you know this RAM like free on your computer of course. But I am using 32, so this is fine. But you know, just make sure you know what you're doing here. It's not gonna be like the end of the world, but like yeah, just make sure you know how much RAM your computer is not using, and then you can put it here. And if I do save, play, and go back to this, 
everything is going to be just quicker and just it's going to go further because there's just more RAM to load in all the chunks. So that is something you can do if you want as well. So yeah, if we go back to our world again, we can see extra settings. So let's just go ahead and load up the game. This is with 10 gigabytes now. And yeah, up. Okay. So here it just loads up all the chunks again. It's doing its thing. There you go. And if we go ahead and go to escape options, here we have our option for distant horizons. And here we have like a bunch of things we can go ahead and change if you want. I don't even know what all these do, but like basically if you want to change something specific, you can go ahead and check if there is something that you want to change in these settings. But yeah, here with more RAM, it just loads up everything and it really goes at it. So yeah, that is how we download and install Distant Horizons for Minecraft Java version 1.21.10. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.